Good morning. This morning finds me in the grand metropolis of Ballygan, County Down. A village of 3,000 souls approximately. And I'm looking down the Belfast Road. We're about, about seven or eight miles outside Belfast maybe. Not that far. And this is the main shopping area of Ballygan. And this row of shops would, would be the, the Mecca. And I'm looking across the road here at the uh, Lockdown Community Centre where it all happens in Ballygan. Basically what you do, and I'm not trying to be disparaging towards Ballygan, but basically what you do is you drive through Ballygan to get to somewhere else. But it's a long, it's a long established wee village. It dates from the, the, you know, the 1600s. Uh, there's always been something happening here. Uh, the name Ballygan actually originally comes from the Irish, as an awful lot of uh, villages and town lands and everything else do come. Um, it comes from Billy Mick Gabon, which means McGann's town land. And it was uh, sparsely populated back in the 15, 1600s by Irish Gaels. And then they were thrown out and uh, usurped their lands taken whenever James I uh, gave um, the, the, uh, the lands to uh, the Hamiltons and the Montgomerys and the Hamiltons and Montgomerys give the land to uh, the incoming Scottish settlers in the plantations of the 17th century. So a lot of Ulster Scots would have, uh, you know, settled here. And uh, that sort of came about with the demise of the O'Neills, the Clannaboy O'Neills, uh, who were originally the, the folks in charge here, and that's Con O'Neill, of course. And his uh, sort of era ended in 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 the, the early 1600s. used to be a railway ran through here and it was uh, there's a, an old railway building up there the uh, Belfast and County Down railway ran through here from 1858 to 1950 and that uh, that railway actually uh, brought back an awful lot of life to the, the village and the other claim to fame is, is that Ian Paisley, leader of the Democratic Unionist Party and uh, fiery preacher and uh, first minister in the new Stormont, power sharing uh, Stormont, Ian Paisley is buried up the road here. So uh, that's a main claim to fame. as well. So this is Ballygan. Well, this, te te this Texaco station does a lot of trade. And 
This is one of the significant buildings in Ballygan. It's Trinity Presbyterian Church. And I'm in the uh, graveyard that uh, lies at the front of the church here, and this one here, uh, William John Mahoney and family, 1859. What's that? 1878. You know, that, that dates, that um, fits in well with the, uh, the Scottish planters coming over, 1867. McClelland. And massive big church dating from what is it? 1838. And you notice uh, you know the very plain frontage. Now the the uh, the glass window, same glass window isn't plain, but the plain frontage and the two entrance doors. Uh, that's that's very typical, and some uh, some uh, quite old graves, all dating from the mid 1800s. And I always think, you know, when I'm looking at these, who were these people? What kind of lives did they live? And I might come back to Ballygan and do a video on the graveyard itself. See if I can do a wee bit of investigating. So Ballygan Trinity Presbyterian Church, big barn church. And now uh, the stained glass windows look well. And the newer part of the cemetery further on down there. I'm back up to the uh, the roundabout here. And there's the direction sign telling you where you are. This road out here goes out to, uh, to Cumber. I have cycled here many times, very popular cyclist. The remembrance across the road, World War I, World War II remembrance. I'm just going for a wee walk up here because there's a there's an interesting building I want to I want to include. Yes, this is the, the building I wanted to include. You know, that building could could come straight from Scotland. The architecture is like something you'd see in the Scottish Lowlands. And the, uh, the words say the time is short. Uh, this building is now property of Trinity Presbyterian Church. Is some building this? You know, if times were better you could see this transformed into a, into a hotel. Absolutely fantastic architecture. I'd love to get a look inside it. And just in beside it is the wee local primary school. Alexander Dixon Primary School. And I wonder who Alexander Dixon was. It's not interesting.
And I wonder what purpose this building served before it was uh, used as the Presbyterian Church Halls. And apparently the Blackwater River runs through here somewhere but I, I can't find it. So <laughs> it mustn't be too big. And if you're going down that way where the Presbyterian Church is, you're heading towards Killalay and Kalinche. Nice wee drive, have to say. The War Memorial here in Valley Grand and the, the poppies. Oh, here's is this the river? I found the river. My goodness, that's uh, a bit of a, a bit of a shock. Probably in winter time, it doubles its size. Could do a wee bit of a clean up, I think. And there's a, a hardware door across the road here. And this is one of the last hardware stores like this that you'll ever come across in Northern Ireland. It's run by uh, James. Gibson and I bought paint in their driveway paint to seal my driveway tarmac uh, and if you want a traditional hardware shop that you would have gone into 50 years ago this is one of the last of the few. So I'm heading out, I'm heading out to the car for home. And that was Ballygan. Nice sweet play park here. But I suppose that's all locked up because of this virus thing. See you soon.